Oi, what's going on tool fans? So this week we're gonna be looking at laser comparisons. You might know in Australia, the laser levels have just been released and I was looking at them and they seem overly priced. So what I wanted to do was compare it to a lot of the other lasers. This week we are doing the two plane laser levels. I've already done the 360 laser levels. So if that's what you're after, go check out that video. Gonna be looking at all the different figures, numbers and the features. So let's delve straight into it. All right, guys, so we're going to try to get through this quite quickly. Don't want to hold you guys up for too long. So what we have is a grid or an Excel spreadsheet, and we have a few different um, lasers on there. You've got the Milwaukee M12, which is the actual M12 battery. This one here, so that takes the M12 battery. That's one I would rather, if I'm going to Milwaukee, I already have the 12 volt, uh, the M12 platform. So that would be perfect. Then the next one is the... USB battery that just requires an extra charger, an extra battery, all that sort of stuff. But the laser actually comes with the battery. This one does not. So they are the first two on this list. Then we've got the DeWalt. Quickly show you which ones we're comparing first, guys. These are all green lasers. This is the DeWalt. This is the one I'm using at the moment, but in red, it's been fantastic. It's about six or seven years old, I think now. And then we have the Bosch. Once again, I do really like the Bosch on paper. It looks brilliant. And I have used this one myself. Um, we use it at work and it's been really good. Next one is the Stabler. Let me know how to say, how to say Stabler. I never knew how to say it properly. Stabler. Uh, this is the one here, green laser. I've used that one in the past. It did feel a little bit plasticky, a little bit flimsy. That bracket wasn't the best. But we've thrown that in as sort of a mid-range. Um, a lot of people trust the uh, brand, so we threw that in there. Then we're going the CPI, which is the bottom range when it comes to price. But I know a lot of people that use them, swear by them, and they're yeah really highly rated for three hundred and forty-nine dollars. As, as you can see, two plane laser. And last but not least, guys, we have Hilti on there. So we'll head over to the Hilti. Which is that one there very pricey but everyone trusts and knows the hilti so let's go through this guys starting at uh price you can see next to all uh some of these anyway i've put a rating i don't know how this will go but let's see so you've got 649 for the m12 battery for uh, milwaukee which is sort of fairly high it's one of the higher ones other than hilti which is uh, obviously not uh, what we got almost 900 dollars so you're looking fairly high, 649. For the USB, you got 579. That's a difference of, what have you got? 20, you got $70 difference there. Um, then you go down to DeWalt, which is quite a good price. Uh, a lot of people swear by the DeWalt. I see them everywhere on site at the moment. 429, which is a really good price. A little bit cheaper. Bosch, 359, which is really good. Stabler, uh, it's sort of mid-range, $500. CPI 349. Um, so I've rated highest for the lowest price um, and the lowest for the highest price. So, and I have changed the end results, um, taking away the price. I'll show you that soon. So, when it comes to what it includes, most of them are pretty much the same. You sort of get the, uh, the clip, which allows you to clip it to uh, whether it's a track or um, anything metallic because a lot of them have the magnets on them I'll show you that quickly so on the back of this one i believe it's got a magnet doesn't really show you it there's a good photo none of them none of them really have a good photo of it but on the back here they have the magnet be nice to if you haven't seen it there you go most of them come with the track uh the clip sorry the bracket so they're all pretty much the same. They all come with uh, batteries except for the Milwaukee. So most of them, this one has the lithium USB and most of the other ones are double A batteries. So depends what you're after guys. All of these are double A's. You've got the USB and the M12. So yeah, they all come with basically the same gear. A couple of them come with, uh, you've got protective glasses. Uh, this one comes with a charger for the batteries, which is the CPI and you get a target plate with a couple tool bag so it's not really that much different so i didn't actually allocate any points for those but then we get to the nitty-gritty guys we've got the visibility that's where it all comes down really 
Uh, you've got the M12 Milwaukee, 38 meters, which is really good. I'm very happy with that. 50 meters, which isn't a big difference with the detector. So that's actually quite interesting. Um, that is a very good figure though. Then we go to the USB from Milwaukee. You've got 30 meters and 50. So you've got a difference of eight meters. Dewalt, 20 meters versus 50 meters with detector. So you're sort of dropping a little bit there. Obviously the price has dropped, so you're getting less visibility. Once again, you drop down in price again with the Bosch, 15 meters. So if you're looking at something indoors maybe, or you're not really going that far, then the Bosch might be the way to go. It didn't give me a detector visibility. So we've left that one stay, same with the stabler. Uh, you've got 20 meters with uh, without detector. So sort of mid range again, um, it's a little bit more expensive than these other ones comparing to the Dewalt, a bit more expensive, but getting the same distance. CPI, so 349 is very interesting. You've got 30 meters and 50 meters with the detector. So that's absolutely fantastic. And Hilti obviously comes out on top for the price. You've got 40 meters and 100 meters with a detector. So if you go on the distance guys, uh, 100 meters, which is the Hilti. I did find though, actually I should say with a stabler, we'll head over to there. And what we have outside working range with this line receiver, which is their line receiver is 250 meters. So um, if you're chasing something a lot further than 100 meters, that's the one to go. So it's 409 for that receiver. So keep that in mind. And um, yeah, so overall the Hilti came off, out on top. You got five and three, two, one, two, three, and four. Um, closely behind the Hilti is the Milwaukee, which is really good to see. Uh, for that price, you are getting uh, pretty good visibility. I'm very happy with it. So most of these do not have, or at least I can't find a drop rating, only the Milwaukee's do. So one meter drop rating. So I've given them an extra tick for that. Uh, which is quite handy to have. You want to trust that if you drop it, you're sort of covered. Uh, when we get to the IP rating. So if you don't know what IP rating is, it stands for ingress protection. And that means it's protecting from anything from the outside. And usually it's just dust and moisture um, or water. In this case, IP54 is more moisture and a little bit of water. If you're going to be spraying it or submerging it, it won't survive but that's what we're looking at with IP54. So as you can see, the IP rating for basically everything, but the CPI is IP54. So you're covered, um, obviously for that lesser price, you're not being covered. But let's go to the next one. We've got accuracy. Pretty much every one of these are the same guys. You've got three mil over 10 meters, which is sort of the average. You've got 3.18, which is a little bit higher uh, which actually means it's less accurate compared to the others, which is fascinating, but it's not really that much to be worried about. So I didn't really give any scores for those. Weight, I didn't give scores for, we couldn't find the weight for a couple, but for the stabler, you have about 500 grams, 900 grams for the Bosch, 800 grams for the Dewalt, and the Milwaukee's are around the kilo mark. So warranty, how are you covered? Six years for the Bosch, which is really good guys. They do have the overall best when it comes to warranties. Uh, with the Dewalt, you've got three years, which is next. Then you've got two years and three years. I'm not sure why they're different for these lasers. It could be because of the batteries, not sure, but two and three, so watch out for that. And we go over to the Stabler, two years. Two years as well for the Hilti. Last but not least, you've got the CPI, which has a warranty, which is really good. So one year. And down the bottom, I've just done extras. So we've done the micro controls. And if you don't know what a micro control is, guys, I'll quickly show you. If we look at this one here. It's this dial right here. That allows you to control the laser while it's sitting on the bracket. It turns the slightest bit which if you've used lasers before, maybe you've got the apprentice to do it and they're just left, right, left, right. Um, it's an absolute pain. So that allows you to do to make micro changes, which is fantastic. And it's definitely something that um, will help sell a laser to me. 
You do have it on the Dewalt. You can see it on the top. This is the one I use, but unfortunately, the dial only works if the bracket, you can sort of see where it's sort of sitting. If the bracket is uh, attached to something else, it doesn't work while it's sitting on the ground. So I gave it half a mark for that, as you can see, 0.5, and the other two got a whole mark. So here are the scores. Up the top, uh, you can see it's actually very close. So that's taking into consideration the price. So this is with price. This is without price. Massive difference. And if you're looking at getting one for the price, then this is sort of where you want to go. I would stay away from the stabler. That came in last, uh, actually came in last with the Hilti, mainly because of the price of the Hilti, but overall performance and price of the stabler, I didn't rate at all, so I would wipe that off. But all the rest, like the CPI, for the price, guys, I really do think that is a great little laser. Um, you do have a one-year warranty, does 30 meters over 50 meters, uh, 30 meters and 50 meters, so really good little laser. But obviously up the top, we're looking at the Bosch, Milwaukee, and the DeWalt. Um, the USB came in just under. And I think that's because of, what was that because? Not sure. Not sure why it's that much different. Maybe just because of the warranty. So really, all three are very, very similar. All right, so that's all of them with the price. If we go to without the price, you can see now we're looking very different. And we have some clear winners. Uh, if we start at the bottom, you're looking at the CPI and the stabler, which is about right, I guess. So once you take away those high uh, numbers for the low price, basically we're left with those on the bottom. Next, you're looking at the Bosch. So that'd be the bottom is the CPI and the stabler. Then you've got the Bosch. Then we're looking at the DeWalt with a six, sort of mid range. That was the one for 429. And then we've got a tie, which is fascinating, with the Hilti, which is 899, and the Milwaukee USB for 579. Then, obviously, right at the top, that's two more points than the Hilti and the other Milwaukee. We have Milwaukee M12. So I'm definitely quite surprised with that, guys. So that's the one. So that's the winner. $649 at the moment. I think that's the normal price I can find. There's a few different prices, but roughly $649 without a sale. If we go down, I'll just show you a few of the extras. You've got 15 hours runtime, visibility 38 there. Uh, one meter drop, IP54, uh, 360 rotation. Um, so that's actually the laser going around on the bracket. One kilo, three years warranty. Yeah. So very surprising, guys. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm very surprised. I have said in the past that Milwaukee seemed overpriced. And I wasn't sure if it would run up against lasers like the Hilti. So on paper, it's definitely looking very good. It's going to maybe change. We'll see once I get the lasers. I'd love to hear all your thoughts. Um, do you think this was a good sort of comparison? Would you like to see more of these? And if you would, what sort of tools do you want me to compare just online? Because um, I can do this a lot more often compared to getting all the other tools. Um, it's just costing me a lot of money, obviously. So this is a lot easier where I can just do quick and easy sort of run throughs and compare them. But yeah, overall, I'm very surprised and I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you got the Milwaukee, whether you got the Hilti, what you're running. Would you rather get the CPI? I definitely know a lot of guys that are running the CPI and those little cheap lasers, man, they last a long time and they get the job done. So let me know in the comments, guys. Until next time, Stay addicted to tools.